Okay, when continuing on with blends, we have a term called fractionate. Okay, fractionate means to break down into the blend's component parts. If I have a refrigerant blend and I have a cylinder of it, if I open that valve on top of that cylinder and it's accessing just gas, the gas with the highest pressure will leak out the fastest. Okay, if it leaks out the fastest, then more of it's going to go out than, say, one that's lower pressure. Okay, if I had R417A, that's a replacement for R22. It has R22 in it. It has 134A in it. It has 125 in it and several others. Okay. These are all different refrigerants with different boiling points at the same pressure. So let's say, okay, R22 at 70 degrees is at 121 pounds pressure. R34A at 70 degrees is 71 pounds. R25 is 165 pounds. Those are for the parts of 417A. They all have widely varying uh, pressures at a certain temperature. Now that's a saturated temperature pressure relationship. If I was to open that cylinder to the gas side, the R125 is the highest pressure, it's going to leak out first. Now there's specific percentages of this refrigerant in each one of these refrigerants. They're, uh, let's say R22, let's say it's 21%. I'm just taking this out of the air. Uh, 134A is 36%. Okay, there's varying amounts to get what the manufacturer is trying to get out of this refrigerant. So, with all these different refrigerants in there, the R125A is going to boil off first. It's going to escape first. More of it is going to come out of that hole than, say, R134A, which is at 71 pounds. So what effect does this have? It messes up the blend. The blend is no longer the type of refrigerant that the manufacturer made. It's not usable in the system if it has come out of the system, and I'm taking refrigeration system. Uh, if I was to charge a system with gas off of a cylinder filled with R417A, if I took gas off of it, I would not get 417A in the system. I'd get an inordinate mix of the refrigerants that made it up. That's not going to be a good blend. That's going to be a mess. It's not going to work. I've seen these things done this way where people have charged with gas. Sometimes it comes up to something that doesn't make any sense at all. And it certainly doesn't work. So it has fractionated. Now, this system could also fractionate if there's a leak in the system. Now, ideally, if you dump this stuff out, if you leak it out or you, you take the cylinder and turn it upside down and you get liquid, it should not fractionate. That is how you're supposed to charge these things. So that, if it's done with, if it's charged with liquid, it's probably not going to fractionate, and it should be fine. However, if you have a leak in the system, unless you can be absolutely sure that that leak was only liquid, then you don't know what's happened to the system. You don't know if it has fractionated and is incorrect. Now, I'm going to always err on the side of caution here. If I have what I suspect to be a fractionated refrigerant, and you may be able to tell by its saturated pressure, see if it matches the chart, that's probably not a real good way to, 
to go because I'm not sure you're going to really get anything useful there. But if I have a suspicion that it is fractionated, I'm dumping it and I'm putting new stuff in. Some of the manufacturers say, oh, it's got to leak two thirds of the refrigerant out before it upsets a blend and all these kind of things. I mean, we have enough problems with blends being used to replace R22 already. Taking a mismatched blend and putting it in, I think, is probably not a good idea. So, if I have suspicion that it has been fractionated, I'm going to throw it away. If someone has used a brand new cylinder of one of these refrigerants, say 417A, and they have charged something with gas, I gotta throw the cylinder away. It's no good. It's been fractionated. So, fractionation, big problem with especially R22 replacements. Uh, none of the manufacturers are really saying you should use any of them that I've seen. Now maybe somebody will come up with somebody that says it's okay. I know Lennox come out pretty strong saying don't use any of the uh, replacement refrigerants to replace 22. Maybe they just want to sell them the new equipment. I don't know. Whatever. They say use 22. And 22 is of course very expensive. So fractionation a big deal when you're using blends. It has introduced an entirely different, more complicated part of our refrigeration service industry. It has made it quite a bit harder to work here. I mean, that's the way it is anyway, so can't win that one. It's always gone from the simple to the complex. Anyway, fractionation, bad. That's it on this one.